Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you guys know, today is a big day because Toyota finally revealed a part of the 4Runner. So it's a bit of a sneak preview and you probably have already heard from a number of other media what this is all about. But what I want to do specifically right now is to try to predict as an engineer whether the 4Runner will indeed have the roll down rear window. And I know this is being a hot topic. Most of you guys, or maybe all of you guys, want that feature to be carried over from the current fifth gen to this new sixth gen. And I have been talking about it for the last little while, saying that there's a 50-50 chance of the window being carried over uh, in terms of the roll down ability. And there's also 50% chance that they could just replace that with a flip up window like they've done with a Sequoia. So, you know, the quick background is that the Sequoia has lost a roll-down window replaced by more of a typical flip-up uh, window for the rear hatch area. Uh, but the Tundra was able to carry the roll-down window. So the big question is, would the Forerunner carry on with the roll-down rear window? And it's almost impossible to tell from just this uh, photo right here. But I'm going to try to explain to you as an engineer why I'm going to predict that the roll down rear window will remain from the fifth gen and carried over to the sixth gen. And the reason why I can actually predict that is for a number of different reasons. And I could still be wrong because this picture is pretty limited. But I'm going to mark up the picture here and try to explain to you how this works. Okay, first of all, people have already been talking about uh, the Forerunner logo and stuff like that and what the license plate might mean. So all those things are not super critical right now. Uh, Right now, I want to focus on trying to explain to you why the roll down window should work in this particular 6th gen sneak photo. And the telltale sign is the angle of the, the tailgate or the hatch right here. Lift back, I guess you want to call it. So you can tell this is the slightly angled version. It comes like this, then a little bit angled here, a little bit angled here, and a little bit angled here. However, this angle right here, this one, this one right here, this is a critical one. Okay, this angle right here compared to a vertical line. This angle is the critical one because if you look at the uh, new, new 2024 Land Cruiser uh, rear area, then this section right here has a much more steep angle. It's more like this compared to a vertical line. So this part actually caves in a little bit more if you know what I mean. But in this 400 sneak photo, the angle uh, right here it's a pretty small angle, so if I were to transpose that over here, uh, it's hard to say how many degrees, I don't know, 15 degrees or so, maybe not more than that. Uh, whereas on the Land Cruiser, the angle is more like this. It's much deeper angle. And the problem is that if you have a deep angle like this, then the window at the rear, when it rolls down, will hit that angled section and will not be able to go all the way down. So we know, mechanically speaking, engineering speaking, it won't work. Whereas on this photo, because this angle is pretty, pretty subtle, you know, I'm kind of exaggerating right here in my diagram here, but pretty subtle. So the window should be able to roll down and go all the way, if not right to the bottom, you know, deep enough that the rear window can actually roll all the way down to the sill. And so that's the first most important reason why I think the roll down window will actually be able to go all the way through. Sorry, I'm getting messy here with my diagram. The second reason why I believe that the roll down rear window will carry on is that Toyota has purposely left out this upper section, which we can't see above here. Right, we can't see the window. We can't see if the wiper blade is located on the bottom of the windshield, the rear windshield, I mean, or uh, toward the top. And you know, why would you hide that unless you're hiding a very important uh, decision factor here or key attribute of the forerunner, which is a roll down rear window? Because if it's not going to roll down, then who cares? Just show the whole rear. Uh, window on right now with the wiper blade or wiper mechanism located on the bottom of the uh, rear window and you can then tell right away if it's going to roll down because with the wiper blade at the back you know if there's a wiper blade near the bottom here like this that's going to wipe then sorry opposite direction this way 
then of course it's not gonna roll down because the the wiper blade or the wiper mechanism is usually uh, attached to the bottom of the window or around the area anyway so that's another reason why I believe the window will roll down is because Toyota is purposely hiding anything above here you know this whole section here above I should say above this section they're purposely hiding it and I feel like that's a, uh, you know, a sure way to convince me anyway that there probably will be roll down window and they don't want to reveal that yet so that's the second point all right so I cleaned up the photo we're back to the original photo now and I'm going to show you third reason why I believe that the window will roll down and this one is a bit tricky one because it's a bit hard to tell from this angle and with this particular photograph and that has to do with the overall thickness of this tailgate so we can't tell the thickness of tailgates because we can't see anything from this angle or from this angle uh, but what, what I want to know is this thickness right here which of course is the internal thickness and so none of us can see that but this thickness has to be wide enough that the window can again roll down the entire mechanism can roll down if if this is too narrow like this then there's not enough space for the window to roll down nor the mechanism associated with it and therefore we know for sure that there will be no roll down rear window uh, but because this photo is a bit hard to tell this is a bit of a guesstimate but i can tell by the overall look and feel right here right around here to kind of estimate the, this thickness of the tailgate or lift back whatever you want to call it is definitely right up there with the current fifth gen foreigner because uh, what happens oftentimes is when this width is narrower like this it's a thin tailgate then the area around here and around here and here and here looks a little bit different these these um, angled chiseled look will be again a little bit different because you can't have so much depth here there's quite a bit of depth here in terms of these angles again I'm getting really messy with the diagram here so in order to have this kind of depth right here you really have to have the proper thickness of the tailgate itself for the window to go down you can also see right here too this is obviously nothing to do with the tailgate this part this plastic piece but the overall feel is that the thickness of the tailgate is more than uh, your average uh, SUV that doesn't have a roll down window they tend to have a, a more of a flat feel to the whole back because you can't have so many angles and so forth because the tailgate itself is not thick enough to accommodate different chiseled look or different angled look so that's another reason why I believed it looks like this can accommodate a roll down the rear window those are the three main reasons why uh, obviously this is still a speculation there is not much more I can do to uh, try to decipher this photo any more than what I have done already because it's just you know not enough information up, up above here again it's not enough information so I can't see what's going on above I can't even see like for example in our current forerunner there's a little switch just above here you can press up and down to open or close the window that feature by the way it's only on certain model like the limited and I can't see that either they've cleverly hidden that section it will be right about here above here although I would ex expect that on a new forerunner they wouldn't have this ugly two buttons like we do in current forerunner maybe it will be kind of built into the whole design we're not quite sure about that yet um, but either way obviously we can't see that and so that cannot be additional clue but just looking at the whole design of this tailgate looking at the thickness the shape as well so if you look at the shape of this you will notice that these exterior lines are pretty straight so they're not caving in many new SUVs caves in like this toward the end I'm exaggerating here but it goes straight down and then curves inward I'm not talking about this section here with the crease here I'm talking about this side okay so I'm talking about the shape of the actual lift gates uh, edge in many new um, SUV this is curved just for design purposes and once again if it's curved like this 
then the window cannot roll down because it's going to hit this section right here. But in this particular photo, the edge is pretty straight, a little bit angled here, but generally speaking, pretty straight, convincing me that there's enough width across this tailgate that the window can indeed roll down. If I can see the actual shape of the window above this photo, then I'll know for sure, because if the window is more or less rectangle and the tailgate is more or less rectangle, then you know there's enough space for this window to roll down. But on the other hand, if, like I said, if the tailgate is curved in like this, again, I'm exaggerating, and the window is really wide and they put the window right to the edge, you know this window cannot possibly physically roll down and they've taken this window right to the edge to maximize the space here. But we can't see this window or potentially this shape of window right now. So that part, I can't give you a full conclusion, but um, it looks like looking at the edge of this right here, this edge of um, tailgate, both sides, it looks like it's pretty straight down to me, close to straight, not curved like this. So those are the four major reasons why I believe the Forerunner will carry on with the roll down window. Uh, and I could be, I could be wrong, of course, there's still probably a 50-50 chance, but mark my words, I'm going to predict the roll down window will stay for the new generation Toyota Forerunner. Let me know what you guys think of my reasoning and my engineering uh, kind of prediction, because I'm curious to hear some of your uh, perspective as well because the, I may be not noticing something and you guys might notice something that is important. I've already talked a lot about the second gen forerunner so I'm not going to go through the general uh, structure and general powertrain features and stuff like that right now because I've gone through those details so many times. So today I want to focus on just the, the rear window aspect and I'm going to make a series of other videos to talk about whether I think the new forerunner will be built in Japan versus Mexico. Uh, and whether or not it will have a manual transmission or whether it will only have automatic. Those are some of the really critical predictions that everybody is asking, and I'm going to also go through those uh, predictions as well using my engineering thinking or method. And so I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, make some comments for me, please. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.